Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Cannot believe summer is almost over. This summer I've been spending time in the wild. It's nice to do something different outside the video game and work, especially at a time like right now. In today's video, first we will go over all the games I bought this summer, both physical and digital games. When I say summer, I mean from the end of June to earlier September. Then I will give an update on my 10 must play PS4 games this year. I actually made a lot of progress this summer. Since there are quite a few things we are going to go over today, let's get it started. We will start with BB and Tina at the horse farm. Just like I say in my PS4 collection video this year, I will only recommend this game if you want an easy play now. This is a horse racing game, you can finish it around 3 hours. There is also a PS5 edition, I might buy it again once I have a PS5. Of course, mainly for trophies. This game cost me $10, which is not too bad, however the price dropped after I bought it. This actually happened a lot to me this summer. They always lower the price right after I bought the game. I am definitely not happy about it. Next, we have Yumahara Kawas Bazooka. Yumahara Kawas is a very old series. However, I never played any game from the series before, therefore this is my first one. The gameplay should be similar to Super Smash Bros. Uh, this one cost me $20. You probably can get it cheaper now. Here we have 1971 Project Helios. This game is GameStop exclusive, but I didn't buy it from them. I actually bought it directly from publisher. Uh, it's only $8, and I thought there's no way it could go lower. While waiting for the shipment, they lowered the price to 6 I have nothing to say. I probably should get used to it. This is a turn-based strategy game. I don't think it caught a lot of attention. For less than $10, I wouldn't mind to give it a try. Next is the Yakuza Remaster Collection, which includes 3, 4, and 5. The first Yakuza game I played is 4 on PS3, and I played on it. I also played 5, but I do not finish it yet. With this collection, now I have completed the KOU story on PS4. I think I will try to finish 5 on PS3 first, then play the entire collection on PS4. I believe it will take a very long time to play now all 7 games. Uh, by the way, I got this one for $30, which is an acceptable price. Next, we have a couple My Universe games, School Teacher and My Baby. My Universe is a collection which includes 5 games so far. At the first, I thought this is based on a TV show. It turns out it's just a game collection. I don't have any expectation on any of these games. I bought them just for trophies, and I believe now I have played now. Price-wise, school teacher is 12 something, and my baby is 11 something. I might collect all 5 of them if the other 3 are cheap enough. Untitled Goose Game. I actually had a chance to play this one on Game Pass. I decided not to do it because I was not sure if I could finish it before my subscription expired. However, I still want to give it a try since I heard a lot of good things about it. When I saw they do physical release on PS4, I definitely need to get it. I only spent $15 for it, which is a very good price. We have a video novel here, or I should say two video novels. Robotics Notes Ellie and Dash Double Pack. This is Day 1 Edition, which includes a pin set. I was surprised when I received a Day 1 Edition. The one I ordered is actually a standard edition. I'm definitely happy about it, because I really wanted a pin set. The only issue is the box is kind of beat up. I believe this had something to do with shipping and handling. Luckily, all the items inside are in good shape. This one cost me $18. For video novel, this is pretty cheap. I'm definitely looking forward to play it. Okay, the last physical game is Captain Subasa: Rise of New Champions. Captain Subasa is an anime I used to watch when I was 10. I used to play soccer because of this anime. When I knew they were going to do physical release in North America, I was very excited and a little bit surprised at the same time. From what I can tell, this anime is not very well known in the state. I'm not sure who they are going to sell to. For this one, I paid $18. This is a clearance price. It might be cheaper later, but I don't want to wait, so I pull the trigger. Now let's talk about digital games I bought. I received $5 credit from Microsoft in June. 
I spent one dollar to get a three months game pass ultimate, which is a great deal. Then I used the rest money to purchase a couple games. The first one is an Xbox One game, AER Memories of Old. It's only 150. I don't know too much about this game. I bought it because it's cheap and has easy achievements. Another one is a 360 game, Far Cry Classic. I believe this is the only Far Cry game I didn't own. Now I own every Far Cry game and this one is only $2. I probably will play both games later this year. That's it for the summer pickups. Now let's check my Tamers play PS4 games in 2021. Last time I mentioned that I was playing my time at Porsche and the Chaos Child. I finished both of them. My time at the Porsche is a great game. I enjoy the overall gameplay experience. It's the game can help you escape reality. This is definitely the game to play at a time like right now. Chaos Child is a slow star visual novel. The first half of the story is very boring, but the second half will blow your mind. Just like every visual novel, it has multiple endings. Once you see all the endings, you can see the clear big picture. Uh, if you like visual novel with good story, I will recommend this one. Another game I finished is God of War. Finally, I finished the game and I like the new change they made. The only thing I don't like is fighting those Valkyries. The last game I finished is Resident Evil 4. This is a great game, but the country is really bad. It gave me a serious headache. Although I like Resident Evil 4, if I have time this year, I might start playing Resident Evil 5. Most importantly, since I finished at least one Resident Evil game from my collection, I am free to buy a new Resident Evil game now. At this moment, I finished 7 out of 10 games. The one I am tackling right now is 4 of 4. I can tell you I don't like it so far. I will still try to finish it, but it's not a pleasant experience. This might end up as my only and last fall game. That's it for today's video. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy any game before Black Friday. If I don't, I guess I will see you guys after Black Friday. Take care and thank you for watching.